Hello and welcome to the introductory video of the course uh, Theory of Computation to be offered over the NPTEL platform. I am Subramaniam Kalyanasundaram and I am with uh, the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Hyderabad. Let us try to understand what this course is about. So, I will first present three computational problems. Right? Problem one is I have a computer program and I have an input. Right? I want to know whether this computer program will halt on this input. In other words, I am feeding this input to the program. I want to know whether this program terminates or it enters into an infinite loop. Right? So, I want to know which of these situations will arise. This is the first problem. The second problem is I have a graph. So, graphs are objects like these that I have drawn. So, it contains uh, dots and edges and uh, so dots are called vertices and the lines that are that I have drawn uh, between the dots are called edges. So, I want to know whether a graph can be colored using three colors, right. So, red, green and blue, let us say three colors, okay. In such a way that uh, those uh, dots that are adjacent have different colors, right. Uh, so, I have drawn two graphs here. One of them can be colored using three colors and the other one cannot be colored using three colors. I will not tell you which one is that. But this is problem two. Given a graph, I want to determine whether it can be colored using three colors. Right? This is problem two. And problem three is I want to drive from home to office. Uh, which one is the shortest route? Right? Assuming I have the data of the roads, I have the traffic data and so on. I want to know which is the which route to take, which will be the shortest for me. Right? So these are the three computational problems. One is uh, whether a program will terminate on an input. Second is three coloring a graph and the third one is the shortest route from home to office. And uh, for a computer, one of them is easy, one of them is hard and one of them is impossible, right. So, I will not tell you what I mean by easy, hard or impossible because that is one of the goals that we will try to, uh, that we will try to understand during this course, right. So, what is easy, hard and impossible. But let me just tell you that one of them is easy, one of them is hard and one of them is impossible. So, naturally one will ask how do we arrive at such conclusions, right? How can you say that one of them is possible, impossible, one of them is hard, one of them is easy? What does it mean to say such things? This is exactly what we will try to learn in this course. So, we will try to understand what is computation and we will try to understand what computers can do and what computers cannot do, right? These are the questions that we will try to answer during this course, right. And, and further we will try to see what can computers do fast, what can computers not do fast, right. So, th these questions we will try to answer. So, very, very broad overview of what we will see during this course. First, we will see automata theory, which are some simple rudimentary models of computation, where we have very, very limited computers and we will try to see what they can do. Then we will see computability theory, where we will try to model the modern day uh, computers, the computers as we know and understand it. We will try to model them and try to see what they can do and what they cannot do, right. This is computability theory. And finally, we will come to uh, a brief introduction to complexity theory, which is a, a vast area by itself, but we will briefly introduce it. We will try to understand computation versus resources. How much resources? Uh, do we require to solve certain problems? So, a common resource is time. How much time, how fast can we solve a certain computational problem? These questions we will try to understand in the last part of the course, which is an introduction to complexity theory. Uh, these three topics constitute a broad overview to the course. And now let me come to the expectations from the uh, students. So, this is a basic undergraduate course and fairly standard in any curriculum, uh, any B.Tech curriculum in computer science. So, if you if you know um, basic discrete mathematics and that is the proof techniques, uh, it will be it will be good. And if you have familiarity with algorithms, that will be even better. But at least basic discrete maths and proof techniques like sets, function, relations, how to make inferences, proofs, this is essential. And if you have no algorithms, some ba basics familiarity with algorithms, even if you are learning it at the same time, that will be helpful, right. And that is all I have uh, to say about the course in this introductory video and hope uh, you have been, uh, uh, you, this video has made you curious and interested in learning more about computation and the theory of computation. 
So yeah, so that's all I have uh, and uh, see you at the course.